guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is I've got to I've got to admit I'm very excited for today because I'm doing something that I haven't done in a very very long time for various reasons. Today I'm getting back out and I'm doing it again and I'm so excited. So, I am um I'm actually having a shoot day today which um yeah, might not sound out of the ordinary um considering this is what I do. Um, however, I have not been out for a shoot. Um, we're talking like a street style um, shoot, like the ones that I used to do, I want to say, two years ago. Um, and I just haven't been able to get out and do them because I don't have anyone to shoot content with. So Andy used to be able to shoot with me. Um, that just isn't the case anymore. But as you guys will know, if you do watch my vlogs, um, I recently um, actually took on a member of staff, which sounds very profesh and grown up. Um, I definitely don't feel adult enough to be saying <laughs> to be saying that, but I do have a lovely girl working with me now, um, just helping me out with things and yeah, just relieving me of some of the things that I my time is just better spent elsewhere so with you know with this job with creating the content not being at my laptop all day doing all of the emails and the admin um and yeah and like I said I've got to the point where Andy can't shoot with me so it's really nice now having that person on hand and when I want to go out and have a day like I am today and get lots of lovely new content for the new season um I've got that person so yeah, I'm really excited. We're heading into Nottingham. I have packed my bags. I've got about six or seven like spring outfits. I'm going to show you them all um, when we're out and we're shooting. I probably won't show too much of the actual us getting the content just because Taylor will be um, holding the camera and things. So yeah, but I'm really excited. I'm so happy to be getting out and just, yeah, filming some new bits and bobs. So that'll be really exciting. As I said, it's been a while. Oh, if my eyes suddenly look like I've been crying, I had to quickly turn the camera off to have a coughing fit. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, I do also have um, a couple of trips planned for in a couple of months, but one of the trips um, is with Taylor and again really exciting going away and shooting loads of summer content which seems a bit premature to say seeing as we're literally just into spring now um but yeah so lots of just fun exciting content coming i can't wait to show you all i'm just so excited to be out shooting again i'll bring you along today show you the outfits hopefully give you a little bit of um like spring outfit inspo kind of show you a little peek of the outfits that i'll be wearing um in spring but um before i crack on i have done my makeup for the day i do need to do um my hair i washed it this morning it's looking really um really healthy it's feeling really well um but yeah i washed my hair i need to style it i just had this delivery come so I did an order with Look Fantastic. I was at the point where a load of like my ride or die products were just coming to an end all at the same time. So I did an order. A spring refresh of my go-to products. And I'm pretty sure all of these products I will have shown you at some point before. But I thought I'd quickly unbox with you and show you some of the products I literally cannot live without. So First up, speaking of um, hair wash, can you actually see the shine on that hair? I mean, are we talking about blonde hair? It's really hard to get blonde hair to look shiny. I feel like a lot of blonde hair can just look a bit, a bit dry, you know? So I'm really pleased with the like condition, how my hair is looking. Um, so let's talk shampoo and conditioner really quickly because Strangely enough, I do get asked because obviously I'm not, I'm definitely not a natural blonde. So I do get people asking how I kind of maintain my colour. Now I do use a purple shampoo and um, conditioner. So purple shampoo and conditioner contains a, a toner. So I use that, I'll probably say I use it once a month, maybe twice a month. 
I'd say once a month. You don't need to use it any more than that because you don't want toner building up um, on your coloured hair. So I will use a purple shampoo in that respect. So in between purple shampoo uses to maintain my colour, this is my go-to, Colour Wow. The Colour Wow Colour Security Shampoo. This stuff is just so, so lovely. It's got no nasties in it, no silicones. Uh, it's 100% clean, residue free. So a lot of shampoos leave um, residue build up. So you know some of those shampoos and conditioners that um, claim to add volume to your hair or add thickness to your hair. What they actually do is leave a bit of a residue behind on your hair, which weighs it down. And anyway, this has none of that. Super good. I've been using both of these products now for, I want to say at least two years. Um, I, I love a lot of the Colour Wow products, to be honest. But yeah, shampoo and conditioner, the Colour Security, it's good. Literally used it this morning, as you can see. And this is just with shampoo, conditioner and a blow dry. I haven't even put the straighteners on this. My hair is naturally straight, but you can see it's not frizzy. It's just lovely and soft and shiny. So yeah, then I will link all of these, by the way, in the description box um, below in case you are interested in shopping any of these. Um, another Colour Wow hair product that I love is this raise the root this is so this is a spray you can use it on um, wet or dry hair i tend to use this on dry hair um you can use it on wet but because i do wear extensions um i tend to just use it on dry at the roots here it just adds instant volume so if you have curtain bangs or a fringe and you know that um gorgeous kind of shape that you can get your um, fringe to do and it kind of sweeps across your face but it's voluminous and lovely raise the root i um my hair tends to go especially on day two um of like hair wash day um can just go a bit limp and a bit flat and a bit lifeless but because it is naturally straight um it does tend to be a bit flat up here and sometimes i like a bit more volume around the root so Colour Wow, raise the root, literally spray it onto your roots and then you can get either a hairdryer and a big round brush or if you have the Dyson Air app with the round brush attachment, give it a good brush and honestly your hair will just be like, whoosh. it just adds instant volume. It's great, so I got a top up of that. Um, what else did I get? I also grabbed a few of my like skin carey, just skin bits that I love. So first of all, grabbed a top up of a couple of my favourites. These, first of all, Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. This stuff is just absolutely brilliant. I love how this looks even on no makeup days. It honestly looks like you've put a brightening concealer on under your eyes it obviously doesn't contain any makeup but because of the brightening effects of it it's so good you will have seen me use this a trillion times it's my go-to daily eye cream um it really helps kind of um your makeup sit nicely under your eyes if you have um you know your under eyes can sometimes look a bit creppy or you can get product build up and product can just sink into fine lines under your eyes this this is your stuff i just love it banana bright absolute go-to uh this i feel like i have banged on about this for so long my drunk elephant proteiny polypeptide moisturizer oh just it's just my ride or die it's my go-to my skin feels sensational with this and a tub of this will last you a while i hammer this <laughs> I wear so much of it because I wear it all down my neck. And yeah, makeup sits beautifully on top of this. So why, I know you might think, why is why would you rave about a moisturiser? Surely a moisturiser is a moisturiser with this one. This is what it says on the back. So there's a reason I keep finding myself coming back to this. So this breakthrough protein moisturiser combines an unprecedented array and concentration of signal peptides growth factors, supportive amino acids, and pygmy water lily for immediate improvement in the appearance of skin's tone, texture, and firmness. Restores younger, revived looking skin 
almost from the first application. Lines, wrinkles and signs of sun damage appear reduced and skin feels strengthened and moisturised. And I can actually vouch for everything that says because I honestly just, I keep finding myself coming back to this. I love how it makes my skin look. And if I do say so myself, I feel like my skin looks pretty good without makeup. And um, as we all know, my skin has been through it with the whole acne phase. Um, but yeah, and this is one of the products that I switched to years ago and just couldn't live without now. So top up of that, another um, product in my skincare repertoire, not even skincare, um, skin repertoire that I couldn't live without are my false tanning drops. For my face, because I'm religious with my SPF 50, my face is naturally very, very pale. Now I don't mind that. I don't like to get a natural tan on my face. I don't like my face to sit in the sun. Yes, I am one of those people, even on holiday. I will wear a hat, I will wear sunglasses. I don't sit out in the sun, especially with my face. But that doesn't mean I don't want my face to look tanned. So the Tan Lux tanning drops, honestly the best. Tan Lux the face, illuminating self tan drops. I'm pretty sure I've used these on camera a fair few times in my vlogs, but all I will do is, at the point of doing my skincare, when I've done my moisturiser and that is sitting on my face and still, you know, it hasn't kind of sunk in yet, I will just take a few drops of these, literally just three or four drops for my entire face, rub it in, rub it down my neck, wash your hands when you use tanning drops. You don't want orange hands. Um, yeah. And the next morning, your skin just looks gorgeous and it does leave such a... You know when you have been in the sun and you, your skin has that tan, but it has that glow? That's what this does. Honestly, it looks like you've been sat in the sun, but without all the damage. So, my tanning drops. And then, last product, which is my go-to, my Rapid Lash Serum. Now, I do get asked a fair bit um, in regards to lashes, what mascaras I use. Sometimes I get asked if I'm wearing false lashes when I'm not, and I'm just wearing mascara. Um, as you can see, I do have pretty long natural eyelashes. However, Rapid Lash. I have been incorporating this into my routine. Oh, God. I want to say for a, it's got to be over two years now. And every single time I go for like my brow appointment, my brow lady always compliments me on how long and how good my lashes are doing. It has helped not only in the length of my lashes and in, um, you know, obviously being longer, it's helped um, with how thick they are, with how many they are, sorry. So I used to have fairly, I'd say, they were always um, a good length, but I used to have quite sparse um, lashes, whereas now I have more lashes on my kind of lash, lash line? Yeah, on my lash line. Rapid Lash, let me grab this out. So this is the tube that it comes in. Really, oh, there we go, really, really good. And it kind of just looks like a little, oh, is it gonna focus? There we go, one of these. Um, and I just use this of a night time before bed. Literally just paint it onto my lash line at the top and jobs are good and there you go. But um, yeah, I swear by this. What does it say on the box? It says 88% experienced improvement in the appearance of lashes, 86% experienced fuller looking lashes. I definitely have experienced fuller looking lashes. 86% experienced thicker, stronger and longer looking lashes in just eight weeks. Definitely on the longer as well. So yeah, there's a few of my little spring go-to bits that I just thought I would um, show you seeing as I just arrived so yeah i'll link all of those products that i've mentioned in the description box below um but for now i need to go and do my hair because i'm going to shoot lots of lovely content so let's um i'm going to sort this hair out and then head into nottingham so i've just arrived in nottingham so as i mentioned um shooting more sort of street style stuff so i've just brushed the curls out of my hair so i'm really annoying messing with my hair but Thought I'd quickly show you first outfit. Very simple, very classic. I've gone for the vintage oversized brown leather jacket. This one is my, honestly, all time fave from ASOS Marketplace. Plain white tee, blue jeans, but then I've gone for the pop of red with the trainers, really giving it a kind of 90s vibe. And then I have this new bag from Orpen, this kind of dark red. So I'm really just giving that 
pop of red vibes, very on trend, kind of mixing the classics with the trends, which is um, what I like to do. So we're gonna go down and shoot this outfit first, then we're gonna grab a coffee. Yeah, because why not, don't need another excuse. Yeah, we're gonna grab a coffee, get this one shot first. We've got seven looks to get through, so we're gonna be very on it. So, let's go. Okay guys, so next outfit, actually I'm gonna take these sunglasses off so you can see. So I've actually got Taylor here with me, who works with me now, who has been helping me shoot some content. She's behind the camera, she's, she's saying hello off camera. She is here. Um, Hi everyone. Thought, <laughs> hey guys. I thought I'd um, show you what I'm wearing. So next outfit, these jeans, these are like one of my new favorites from New Look, they're so, so gorgeous. Honestly, they kind of look like a really, almost like a vintage pair of jeans, I think. I've just popped a belt with them, also from New Look. Um, my shoes are from Zara. I bought these last year. I kind of feel like they might be like the Tin Man, but it, Tin Man, but make it fashion, we'll say. Um, my navy jumper is from Under the Stories. Um, navy blazer is from Zara. I've got my Celine sunglasses. I've got Taylor's coffee because it's blue and black. So I thought, you know, we're gonna work with the props that we've got. I have also got my Fendi bag as well. I feel like kind of tops off the outfit. This is giving like Friday at work vibes. You know, like dress down, but you still wanna look smart, put together. Um, this is definitely, I was gonna say a very me outfit. They're all very me outfits, but yeah, I love the blue tonal dressing vibe. We're going to shoot this outfit. So far we've shot one and it went really good actually, didn't it? Yeah, we, really good. We did really well. That was, was that your, that's your first like shot with shoot, photo shoot with me, isn't it? Yeah, I had something to prove and I felt yeah, like I came she through. Did. She came through, she was so good, she was so quick. Don't tell Andy, but I think she was better than Andy. <laughs> right, let's go and get this one done. Okay guys, next outfit, we're on outfit number three. Going for more of the grey vibe, so. I'm wearing my cardigan from Under the Stories. I have so many questions about this on Instagram. If it's still available, I will link it, but it's unreal. They also do it in cream, which I think I might be tempted to get as well. It's just so nice. Um, just a plain white tee um, from Arquette. Jeans, again, from New Look. New Look jeans, do not sleep on them. They're so, so good. Love the grey. I've also got black ballet flats on from New Look as well. And then a Fendi bag again for the next outfit. I've got some round sunglasses on from Celine um, and a coffee, which is also part of the outfit, right? And so, yeah, next outfit. Right, next outfit. Would it really be spring vibes if I didn't bring out the trench coat? However, Taylor did just call, what did you call her? Barbara. Barbara Burberry is <laughs> now <laughs> We've got Fendi Wendy and Barbara Burberry out in force together. Nottingham is not ready. Anyway, we've got Barbara Burberry, trench coat, black jeans. I think these are, these are quite old from Zara, but they are great. New shoes, the green um, Adidas Sambas. And then on the top, I've just popped on my dark green jumper, just to kind of get the overall green on green kind of vibes. Fendi Wendy, some sunglasses. And then that is gonna be the next outfit. I think this one might be my favourite outfit. It's kind of giving Princess Diana vibes. I just love it, it's so cool. So jeans, these are like literal like showstopper jeans. Wide leg, and they're from Reese. Look how they literally cover my shoes. They're so cool, I love them. And as a tall girly, Taylor is also a tall girl, we appreciate the length when it comes to jeans. And other things. But white t-shirt, Arquette. And then the blazer is SLA, the label. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pull the sleeves up on it. And what I'm gonna do, and all you'll need is two hair bobbles. So I'm gonna pop the hair bobble up here, pull the blazer up through it. And then you can make your own pulled up sleeves like that, that you haven't got to keep pulling up your arm. It just stays here. Shows up a bit of skin, and yeah, this is what I'm gonna do to both. Oh, the cap. This is um, a fairly recent purchase. You might have seen it before if you follow me on Instagram, but it's um, a Ralph Lauren cap. I think it actually might be from the men's section now, come to think about it. But I just love the pop of red, with, like classic outfit, 
a bit of a trendy pop of red. There we go. Hair bobbles on. And that will be the vibe for the next look. Okay, guys, we're on. Final outfit. Change of location for the car. Um, I'm going for the kind of cream neutral tones. So I've got this jacket on from Mango, which is, it's kind of like a bit fleecy. It's really nice, perfect for like winter to springtime. Um, my beige trousers, I'm pretty sure these are H&M. They're quite old, um, but they're great and they're a lovely fit. I've got some cream ballet flats on, also from New Look. Um, and I've got my little, uh, cute little Fendi bag. And then I think I'm gonna do my hair in like a half up, half down with a claw clip and yeah, go for a bit of a different hairstyle. But anyway, we're gonna go and shoot this. We're at the gorgeous embankment uh, in Nottingham. Such a good little like shoot location. So yeah, we're gonna go and get this photo and then we are done. <laughs> We've just got into Browns and obviously we've had some bread for the table. Guys, it's warm. We've got balsam, we've got oil, we've got butter, salted sourdough. We are two very happy ladies. Oh my god, I've had the kale and avocado salad with prawns. It looks unreal. Obviously, a portion of chips in the middle to share. Taylor has had the same, but with the salmon, that looks unreal, doesn't it? Looks so it? good. So good. But obviously, you know, we're all about the balance. Got some chips as well. Oh, this looks gorgeous. Hello guys, I am home. Back from a lovely shoot day. You'll have to please excuse, excuse my appearance now. I have um, been to the yard and road flicker and I'm home now and I've run myself a lovely bath. Oh my God, it looks so nice. Can we just appreciate how good this looks? I'm so excited to hop in this bath. I get a lot of questions about this bath tray on Instagram. It was actually from our local garden centre. Um, the brand, this is the brand, Eco Bath London, but it's brilliant because you've got all of these compartments. It's got a stand here, so if you want to like pop your iPad or your phone and watch a video, as I will be doing. Um, it's obviously got all the little compartments. It's even got this, so I can pop my wine glass in here and it just sits in there. Honestly, it's just fantastic. But anyway, I'm now gonna hop in this bath and pop my pyjamas on because I am a tired girl. It felt so good today to be back out shooting like street style content. It's been so long since I've been able to do that. And now that I have like Taylor working with me, it's just made such a difference and I've really enjoyed it. And she, um, she actually loved it as well. We had such a lovely day and then we went to Brown's for some food and yeah, it was, it felt just like a lovely girly day, but it was very productive at the same time. We shot some really lovely outfits. I hope you enjoyed seeing the outfits. I'm sorry I couldn't really show you out and about shooting, but obviously there's only two of us. I'm sat <laughs> posing and she's filming and getting photos. So it's hard to kind of document that as well. I need like a third person to do that. Um, but no, I hope you enjoyed having a little glimpse of the outfits and hope it gave you some inspo. Um, but yeah, it was just honestly so good. But for now, I'm gonna hop in this unreal looking bath. Hello guys, good morning. Oh, coming to you from the car, Andy's driving and we actually have a lovely day planned for today. We are just on our way down to Leonora's house um, because she's hosting um, kind of like a little bit of an early Easter lunch, just get together sort of thing. So we're on our way down there now. I, I've already seen on Instagram all of like her preparations and going into this. You know what she's like. She's literally the hostess with the mostess. So I'm expecting, oh God, that's sun. At least the weather is saying spring today because it's not felt like it recently. Um, but yeah, you know what she's like. She's just the best host. So I'm so excited to see what the house is looking like. I actually don't know that much about what is, um, what's happening. I don't know what we're eating, like, 
I don't know, she's kept a lot up her sleeve, so it's going to be a really nice surprise, but not that you can see on this camera because the sun is blaring in, but I decided to dress very uh, springy for today. As I said, the sun is out, so I went for my pink and white linen shirt. Can't quite believe I'm back in a linen shirt. Um, I think I got this pretty sure I got this last year. It's only from H&M, but it's one of my favourites. It's so nice. And then I'm also wearing some Beaufort and Blake jeans. And then I have some, whoop, if I can move it, some tan accessories. So yeah, feeling very springy. Oh, but yeah, I'm really excited to get down there now. Andy's gonna, Andy's obviously here, Andy's driving. Um, his contribution to this conversation <laughs> just a hand and so Marcus is going to be down there as well so yeah it's just, well, if he's not it's going to be very lonely I was going to say if he's not Andy's got the best job of three wheeling ever <laughs> not three wheeling third wheeling yeah third wheeling. third wheeling so yeah I will check in with you when we arrive at Leo's I've just quickly turned the camera back on because me and Andy just had a quick conversation off camera and we've just come to this <laughs> really I don't know why I'm laughing We've just come to the realisation that we actually we actually don't know if Andy was invited. <laughs> oh no, this is awful. I don't know if. I I, oh my we, god. So this is genuine. I don't know if this was like a girls thing. Oh, is there going to be other girls there? And it was like, oh, can you join us? Or is it can you us? Basically, this was mentioned to us when we were at Cheltenham oh. with Leo and Marcus, and she invited what I thought was us. Oh, man, but then so since, rough. but then since in writing, you weren't mentioned. But it was just, can you join us? Uh, oh. But it was mentioned to both of us at Cheltenham. Yeah, so that's why I assumed it was you. And it's both going down. assumption. I'll just go home. It's a Sunday. So I'll drive home and you can get the train back tomorrow. That's the plan. Right? Honestly, we are 19 minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> right, so what I think we're going to have to do is, you know when we pull up? Yeah. We're going to have to... Assess. I look, I'm in a shirt and everything. <laughs> you, yeah, but you don't look like a shirt as in like... You could have just been wearing that a shirt anyway. Rude. I hope all this is a dress up. <laughs> We're gonna have to get there, work out how many cars on the drive, who's in there, and she put any stories up. Give it away. Okay, no, because I don't think it's a girly thing. I do think it was a couple's thing. It's because it was mentioned to us as a couple when we were out, but ever since it's just been worded you to me, not you and Andy. We're gonna have to just assess when we get there, see who's there. Yeah. Because there might be see, other people there. Like it might just be a small group. Yeah, and it might be it might be a couple's thing. Yeah, but it's also too late to message Leo and be like, just to check who else is coming. No, it's not. Is it just, just us say who's or? there? What's who's arrived? And then she'll go, what are you talking about? And then well, we can exactly, explain when we get there. No, 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 then we can explain. But we're going to know for sure, for certain in 18 minutes, so let's just wait and see. It'll oh, be this is, I hate this sort of stuff. I expected a proper en envelope for the invitation. <laughs> oh, no. If I'm coming back up that road in about half an hour, I'm going to be livid. Honestly. Well, do you know what? We're going to have to wait and see. Solo vlog back. You'll know if the next clip is me in a room full of girls that Andy's gone up. <laughs> <laughs> We've just pulled up and we're safe, guys. <laughs> no, we don't we, know. We think we, we are. We're safe, guys. I know from the cars that are here, Andy's safe. Andy's been invited. <laughs> are you off sausages? What are we doing? <gasps> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing, sausages? Yeah! <laughs> 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 Odie's off. Get it, Odie! Oh, you didn't even get it. Odie! Where's your ball? <laughs> <laughs> Andy making friends. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's back. Well, I think Leo has officially outdone herself. Look how beautiful it is in here. Wow. We've got 
the amazing spring tablescape. This did catch my attention. Look at these little nests with mini eggs in them. Oh my god. Maybe ask Leo if I'm allowed to uh, microwave the mini eggs <laughs> in my little mini egg special. But look how beautiful it's looking. The flowers. Oh, oh my gosh. Everywhere you look on this table, there's something new. I've just spotted these little birds. Look at the little birds with the daisies. Oh, so sweet. So beautiful. And if I spin you around, look at this. I mean, wow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> mini egg brownies. Oh my God, mini egg brownies. So, 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 so stunning. Just gorgeous. Puppies. Are you hoping Leo accidentally drops it on the floor? Are you hoping for some scraps on the floor? Oh, rubs, come on in. My favorite boy, playing football. Favorite boy, yes. I've got such a soft spot for rafts. Oh, what? Oh, what? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, Lancelot. Hello. My little blonde prince, aren't you? My little blonde prince. So, Leo, can you please tell me what we've got going on here? Because this smells... Oh, my goodness. I smelled it before I saw it. It looks unreal. So, we've got spiced Moroccan lamb shoulders. I'm wow. always a stickler for a traditional lamb shoulder, a lamb joint for mm -hmm. Easter Sunday. Yeah. And obviously, we're a week before Easter, and everybody will be having their traditional lamb. So, I still wanted to serve that delicious spring lamb, but do it slightly differently. Yeah. So, today, we're doing it Moroccan style. So, we've got apricot harissa on here lemons, apricots, we've got cumin, so many different flavours and then I'm going to shred it. Wow. So it's going to go back in the oven, fingers crossed it's going to be delicious. It's going to be, it's going to be gorgeous, it smells insane, well done. Wiggy woo, wiggy Wiggs can woo. put him here, he wants to go in. Out, wiggy out. woo. Wiggs, out, to get wiggy chucked in. Wiggs here. Right, in. To go in. Yeah. Oh, took him in the little sausage. Right, Oh, Rafiki! I have to say, I have to turn my hat off to Leo. How she manages to do all of this, running around, the food, the setup, like the place looks incredible. She's in the background here, also cooking away. What's my hosting? I need to up my game. I'm just going to shred the. Look at it. Wow, Leo, can I just say, this looks incredible. Well done, darling. Thank You've done you, so Angel. well. This Thank looks so you. good. So, guys, in terms of like any allergies or anything that you don't like, to definitely need well that. Well done, Mrs. Definitely Aww. need that. Aww. <laughs> Hydration station. So, very quick one. This is fennel gratin. So, fennel, double cream, and a whole shed load of gruyere. So, oh, yes. yeah, it's scrumptious, <laughs> but not great on the waistline. Um, this is like heritage carrots with thyme and honey. Then you've got green beans with um, orange zest and almonds. Moroccan spiced vegetables, literally every form of veg you can possibly imagine with melted goat's cheese and really sorry, Laura, coriander. But pick it off. There's this side hasn't got coriander. Um, and then new potatoes with butter. And then you've got shredded Moroccan lamb with pomegranate seeds and almonds. And then just put a load of tzatziki on the top. And then we've also got flatbreads that are literally just coming out of the oven. So, that is it. Well done, Cheers, everyone. 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 I feel like I'm following like, Sleeping Beauty through the garden. Me and my pinny. Just, oh my goodness. My pinny. You're, you're, really giving, my elbow. you're really giving Stepford Housewives Stepford the pinny and the, the, the glass Cheers, of champagne. <laughs> Look what Leo did to her elbow. Got like, how black it is. I know. It's you, have to, you have to go and watch her vlog to find out what she did. Yeah. Not but good. God. The things I do for an Easter table scape. <laughs> <laughs> Who says this job is easy, eh? <laughs> Lancelot's privacy, please. Oh, sorry, Lancelot. God, sorry, darling. So we have finished up dinner. Oh, look at that sunset. And we've just come out to the orchard for just a little after dinner walk around. I've got my glass of champagne. It's just so lovely. It's so relaxing and therapeutic out here. Just, oh, I just can only imagine how lovely it would be to have this just right outside your house. It's just absolutely beautiful. We've got all the doggies with us having a nice little walk. Woody, what are you doing? Uh, oh, Odie! Oh, but honestly, it's just 
absolutely beautiful. So we're going to have a little walk and then we're going to go back inside, have some dessert. And then yeah, it's just been a really, really lovely day. Borrowed one of Leo's um, Holland Cooper coats, obviously. <laughs> That's Lord, you happy darling? Come on daddy, come on. Home. had such a lovely day with um with Leonora like the food hosting everything she always does such a good job like always does such a good job I wanted to give you a little update because you might um I don't some of you might have seen on my Instagram and some of you will definitely see um Mr Bobble in the background although you actually can't see him, he's actually conked out, but... Bobble, do you want to come here, darling? Oh. Oh, here he is. <laughs> We've got a new Cocker Spaniel lamp, haven't we? With a lovely lampshade. <laughs> I know. Have we got to tell them what happened? Dolly had a little bit of a traumatic day, didn't you? Yeah, you had a bit of a traumatic day. Didn't you, darling? Oh, poor boy. Don't laugh at him. <laughs> Do you know what it is? I've never seen a happier dog wear a cone. <laughs> you know how some dogs hate wearing a cone like this? He's absolutely over the moon to be wearing it. Do you like this new colour? <laughs> I'm getting <him> dropped. <laughs> he looks so funny on camera. My little injured soldier, aren't you? But, oh, guys, yeah, you had a bit of a traumatic day. I'm only laughing now because he is okay. And as you can see, he's a very happy boy. But we weren't laughing at the time, were we? No. Oh, so poor Bolly, for those of you guys that haven't seen on my Instagram, had a bit of a run-in with a couple of dogs. So we were at the stables where I keep Flicker. And to be fair, Desi and Bolly come with me every now and then. Um... And it was one of those days where they'd come up and, um, yeah, we were just chilling around the stables, um, chatting to one of our friends. The dogs were kind of just sat amongst us, just very chilled. And unfortunately, a couple of the dogs there that are the guard dogs were being walked. And, yeah, they just came around the corner out of nowhere spotted our dogs and they just sort of ran at them um i know a few people on instagram were kind of speculating and asking me why these dogs weren't on leads they were actually on leads but these are two two big german shepherds who are very very strong and when they see something and want to go at it they go at it and unfortunately the person that was walking them just couldn't hold on to them and yeah, they ended up just kind of running at our two and unfortunately one of them managed to grab hold of Bolly and it was quite scary, wasn't it darling? Desi was sat in between me and my friend and Bolly was kind of sat between us and Andy and they just kind of managed to split up and I managed to grab Desi, kind of pulled her towards me and when I say I was literally sat on her, like... I was sat on her just trying to hide her because what at the time what I didn't want to happen was one dog to go for Bolly and the other one to come at Desi so I was kind of just trying to put myself between them and hide her and just hold on to her um unfortunately one of them did manage to grab Bolly <laughs> He's I'm like excited, he's mate. like the happiest oh, dog though yeah, look at his tail <gasps> look at his tail come Oh dear I'm, me. I'm a... um, as you can see, he's not too traumatised right now. Oh, cone on oh, with his cone on his head. But um, but yeah, unfortunately, the other one did manage to grab Bolly and kind of lock his jaw. 
around his back end and at the time I um well we all I thought it was one of his back legs that was in the dog's mouth luckily so lucky it wasn't but they literally grabbed his bum and just held on to him my friend she had to kind of grab the other dog she kind of grabbed one of the dog's leads and was trying to pull that one back i'm still kind of trying to keep desi out of the way as i said bolly was like just on the floor this dog had hold of him but oh my god the sounds he was making it was awful wasn't it oh no that's the worst bit that like honestly, that was the worst part like you never want to hear your dog make those noises like he was so scared but he was just, he was literally screaming, wasn't he? He, yeah. he was honestly so frightened and just crying, shouting. It was like, it was one of those things where it, it happens so fast, but at the same time, when you're in that moment, like, and you're panicking, it just, it, every second feels like one second too long and you just want it over with because the sounds that were coming from Bolly, he was so scared. Like, he was just on the floor screaming, just terrified. But luckily, Andy managed to kind of grab the dog's mouth. Um, and so this dog was just locked on. So Andy's just squeezing the dog's mouth, trying to get him off. Luckily, the dog let go for long enough so that Andy could kind of scoop Bolly up, pick him up and kind of get him out of harm's way. Um, and as I said, it was like one of those things where it all happened so quick. Um, it was just scary like everyone kind of just quickly jumped into action was like oh my god but but yeah unfortunately they did manage to grab him um and he was just really he was bleeding and a bit shaken up and yeah we obviously didn't know if there was any damage done at the time as i said i didn't know if it was his leg that was in this dog's mouth it was kind of all a bit couldn't really make out where this dog had grabbed hold of him Anyway, we, as I said, Andy managed to scoop Bolly up. Um, we, we got him to the car and then kind of had a little look over him, like kind of felt him over, felt that his legs were fine, his back was fine, his hips, just, you know, the main, the main body parts that are pretty crucial. You don't really want an injury. All those parts were fine, but he was kind of like bleeding from, we couldn't really tell around the, just his bum region. Anyway, took him to the vets and long story short, no serious damage. It was all just surface level and he's got a few kind of puncture bite marks on his bum. Um, so yeah, the vets had to shave his bum. <laughs> so he's got a little bald patch on his bum now. Um, but they cleaned it up and um, have given him some medication just to make sure that obviously we don't have any infections or anything and Make sure he's not in any pain, which as you can clearly see, he's in zero pain. If he is in pain, he's covering it very well. Um, but yeah, he's, he's actually, he's been the best little patient, hasn't he? Yeah. Like, he's been so good taking his medication and just so happy and cheery. What I don't get that is he sits on his bum. Yeah, but he's not obviously not in pain. But he, oh. he's on painkillers, though. That's where it got you. I know. But it's just, it was one of those things where it was just, it could have been a lot worse if they grabbed a leg, his neck. If we didn't get it sorted as quickly. It could have escalated. Yeah, it was yeah. pretty quick. It was pretty quick. I'm just glad. Of all the places they could have grabbed, that was probably the least vulnerable area. Like, if they grabbed his neck, or oh, I just don't even want to think about. It's only the least vulnerable area because he's not got. Yeah, that's one thing, guys. If he hadn't have had the snip. <laughs> I think that would have forced him to have the snip because it was right where they used to be. Right where his little um, Kahunas. spuds used to be. Oh, <laughs> That's no. right where they got him. So luckily he didn't have any to bite. <laughs> but obviously guys, I'm only kind of like not laughing about it now. I'm only kind of upbeat about it now because as much as I could be angry annoyed or whatever there's no point everyone involved has kind of apologized it's all been sorted and everyone was good about it bolly's fine everyone's fine these things happen yeah th these things do happen it's just yeah thankfully he's all right but i wanted to let you know because obviously you might spot him with a cone on his head <laughs> for the next couple of days while he gets better although he seems much better anyway but yeah, poor Bolly. 
Are you okay? I'm hoping that just when we do take him um, back out for his walks, I'm just hoping he's not going to be too scared or frightened or anything like that. I mean, he's got he's got desert. He's got his sister. I'm sure he'll be fine, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Come on, you ball. Do you want to come and say bye? Come and show your cone one more time. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> come and show your Desi cone come. one more time. He didn't hit Desi. Yeah, he didn't. He hit this. Oh, did it? Yeah. yeah. Come you and show your cone. Around, you, come here. So, for now, we've got a little, a new cocker spaniel lamp, haven't we? Yes. But he's quite happy. Oh, terrorising his sister with his cone. What are you doing? He's so happy. I've never seen a happier dog with a cone. <laughs> what have you got, a chicken? <laughs> My God, Christmas chicken. Oh gosh, Christmas chicken. And with that, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I'm going to go and give my little Bolly a little cuddle and a squeeze. Um, yeah, I'm just very, very grateful that both the pups are okay because it's just, you know, I, you can dwell on these things and it's just one of those situations where, you know, it, it shouldn't have happened, but it did, unfortunately, but at least... Our doggies are fine, they're safe. Obviously I would have rather have been, not have been bitten on his bum, but he's safe and it could have been worse, but it wasn't, so that is the main thing. So yeah, I've got a little bit of an injured soldier for a, a couple of days, but as you can see, he's, he's still in such high spirits. I don't think it has affected him too much. So yeah, we're gonna, Get him out and about once we've got the all clear from the vet. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have our old Bolly back soon. Are you coming back in? Oh, it's Desi. Desi's been looking after him as well. Oh, here you are. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.